Hello and welcome to the course on stochastic processes. The theory of stochastic processes is a field of mathematics which deals with probabilistic systems evolving over time. And first of all, I would like to explain what does probabilistic system mean. The simplest probabilistic system appears when you toss a coin. Well, tossing coins is widely used in various games to determine the first player. And as a result of this experiment, you get either a head or a tail. Of course, you can think this is just a mechanical action. You simply accelerate the coin and it moves according to some physical laws. That is, according to gravity and air resistance. Nevertheless, the complete description of the tra trajectory is rather challenging. And it's much more pleasant to forget about physical background and just to consider the results of this experiment. It can be either a head or a tail. And it's very common to assume that both outcomes can occur with probability of one half. In some sense, you move from deterministic world to a stochastic world. And I would like to explain what is the difference between these two worlds. Let me draw this one simple table. Okay, here I have deterministic world. And here's the hastic world. So let me start with single variables. For instance, one can analyze the course of a disease. And uh, as a single variable, you can consider just the temperature of a sick man in the first day of illness. In the deterministic world, this is just a real number. For instance, you can measure a temperature of a given individual and get that the temperature in the first day uh, is uh, 39 degrees. But now, let me think about all sick men with this disease. I cannot measure the temperature for all of them, and therefore I should use some probabilistic structure. It's very common to assume that there is some mean temperature in the first day of disease and also some variance in this temperature. In this case, we have a random variable with some distribution. And according to this distribution, we can calculate mathematical expectation, variance, and all other characteristics of this random variable. Secondly, let me now consider dynamic variables, or in other words, variables changing over time. For instance, if we continue this example, we can ask what is the temperature in the first three days of disease. If we are in the deterministic world, we can once more just measure the temperature every day or every hour, as you wish. So we get actually a function from R plus to R. This function can be equal to 39 in the first day, uh, to 38.5 in the second day, and so on. As for the stochastic world, uh, we should first of all take into account that at any day, the temperature is a random variable. And secondly, we should definitely do not forget about the situation that this temperature is evolving over time. And what we have in this situation is just a stochastic process. So stochastic process plays the role of functions, but let me say random functions. Okay, I will return to this table a bit later, but now let me explain how our course helps to understand the origins of the stochastic world.